My name is Jason Singh. I'm a sound artist and nature beatboxer and composer. I was living in Manchester for 27 years. Um, I moved up from London in the sort of around 93, and uh, Manchester's been my home, and it's a place that shaped me both personally and creatively. The project that I've been undertaking in Manchester aims to kind of engage with communities in sort of new ways that brings together technology, nature, conversation, dialogue and stories about people's experiences and nature experiences um, around Manchester. So I was working with five poets. Some of them were from Young Identity, which is a collective of poets in Manchester, and then also other people who joined the conversation who kind of contributed some words around their thoughts of Manchester and then that's going to go towards an installation which is going to happen at St Anne's Arcade in a kind of takeover shop which uses augmented reality for people to explore immersive audio and these stories of nature and green spaces around our side. The sort of premise of the project is basically bringing together people's voices and also the voices of, of nature and wildlife that people are surrounded by and the way that I'm kind of exploring that is through a technology that basically takes biodata, electrical signals from plants, and converts that into audio. And then through that, I'm able to generate soundscapes and notes that have been created entirely by plants or trees. So the idea is, is to kind of bring those together with poems that were created in the workshop. I thought this afternoon was really profound uh, from, from, a, from a personal and professional point of view. It's just an amazing way of, uh, of engaging people with urban nature. I think there's a real opportunity between arts and the environment to tell stories and start conversations in different ways. Uh, and I think today has certainly done that. You know, it is about breaking down barriers, making connections uh, between people and places. Um, and for us to see ourselves as uh, a part of nature rather than apart from it uh, and I think from, from the city's point of view it's really important to get that message across that even in deep urban environments your know, nature plays a massive part in our lives. Mouth brooding nebulae cradling clusters of ovular planets. Now who uses the crescent moon to reap wheat stars? I think maybe I don't really read much like nature poems and I think in my head I was just thought it was like cliche, but I feel like I really enjoyed today's like conversations because it made me think of it in a different light. One of the sort of things that underlies this project is just people taking nature for granted, you know, that we see trees, we see plants, we hear birds, it's always going to be there. But that's actually not the case. So it's about kind of like using technology in, in a new way to, to get people to just to re-engage with things that they may feel that is there and is going to be there all the time. And it also just like keeps the conversation going around climate and environment. And that's something that's important to me because I feel like there is also a lack of diversity in those conversations and those and those dialogues around, around environment, nature, climate change, etc. So this is also another way of kind of um, bringing voices to the table that may not necessarily be heard or have those platforms to, to speak upon.